Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Aika. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my best and worst luxury purchases in 2020. I have done a similar video last year. I'm not sure if I split it into two separate videos, but today I've decided to combine everything in one video and let's start with something positive, something that makes me happy and with my best purchases. There is no particular order. I'll just grab one thing and talk about it. I will be going pretty fast throughout all the items. So if you're interested in seeing a more in-depth review or anything, if I have one, I will link it in the description box. So check it out. Let's begin with the very first item. It's not going to be a surprise for anyone because it is my Constance, Hermes Constance in size 24. I always confuse the sizes. I want to say 28, but it's a Kelly size. So I'm pretty sure it's a size 24. It's in this beautiful rouge cassette color with gold hardware. I keep saying this over and over again, but this color combination is one of the most beautiful ones for me. So I was very lucky uh, to have gotten this bag. This was my absolute dream bag. It's my holy grail bag right now. So I'm very happy I have it in my collection. Let's actually separate this video brand by brand. So we've started with our mess and let's move on to Dior. Have a few pieces from Dior that I have been just loving this year. The next best purchase of 2020 is for sure my Dior 30 Montaigne handbag in this beautiful burgundy color. I think everyone has this bag, like a lot of people have this bag in a blue oblique color. That's why I love that I have this burgundy one. And I feel like it's been discontinued because I never see it online anymore on the website. I think it's a more unique color. It goes really well with my pinks and blacks and browns. I especially love wearing it during the winter. The next item from Dior that made it to the best list is my phone slash card holder. It has six card slots at the back. In the front there is a holder for, the, for your phone and over here there is a zip pocket which is so large on the inside. It fits so much in there. When I first got it I wasn't really sure if I made the right decision, if I would use it and I did use it at the very beginning then I sort of stopped and now I'm back using it every single day. What I love the most about this little piece is that it is super flat. Can you see how flat it is? Even compared to the iPhone, I think it is a lot slimmer than the iPhone. And usually when you get a full-size wallet, it is pretty it's pretty thick. It takes up a lot of space in your handbags, but I can carry this one in my 30 Montaigne bag and it doesn't take that much space, although it is pretty small on the inside. The next item that I have on my best purchases are these boots. I am obsessed with these boots. I think they're so beautiful. I was so lucky because they had only one pair left and it was in my size. I think it was destiny. We were meant to be together. I just love everything about the boots, the style, the colors. They are super stylish, super beautiful. They have this giant Christian Dior logo over here right in front. The black leather bottom part. I've been wearing them so much this fall and even winter because winters are not that harsh in Switzerland. Would highly recommend them. If you can get yourself a pair of this, go for them. And the last best item from Dior I wanted to share with you is my Dior Bobby bag, of course. I wanted to include the white one as well. It is for sure on the list, but I have decided to bring only one. It comes with a thick shoulder strap and an adjustable shoulder strap. I always say this because I think it is so amazing. I really love this bag. I've been wearing it a lot. You could probably tell by my previous videos because I have included this bag in so many of my videos and there is not a single bad thing I can say about this bag because it's just beautiful. And as you can tell, it goes perfectly together with my boots, so I love pairing them together. Now let's move on to Chanel. I have a few pieces I wanted to share with you very quickly. So the next best purchase of 2020 were these beautiful Chanel earrings. They are this very simple CC logo earrings with the little crystals on the inside. I've been wearing them so much this year and you can tell by the pictures I posted on Instagram, by the videos I filmed here 
here on my YouTube channel wearing these beautiful earrings. I adore them. I love that they are not too big, not too small. I think they're the perfect size for my ears. They go really well with all of my outfits. I think they're so beautiful and so... I don't want to say classics, I'm not sure if they are actually classy, it's just the simple CC logos on your ears, but there is something about them that I really, really love. Super, super, super happy with this purchase. The next one I wanted to share with you is another costume jewelry piece I have to share with you is in this box and if you have seen my huge Chanel haul, sales haul, you probably know what it is. If not, I'm gonna link that video in the description box so you can check it out. But I am talking about my gorgeous Chanel necklace. It is so beautiful. It's the pearl necklace. It has this Chanel with the crystals. I think this necklace is so beautiful. I haven't worn it that much this year, so I didn't really have any like proper occasions to wear this necklace, but I still love it so much. I thought I was so lucky to have found it and it was on sale. So I got an amazing deal on it. I thought it was such a bargain for um, what I got. And now let's move on to Louis Vuitton. I have two pieces from Louis Vuitton that I was extremely happy that I bought this year. So the first one are my sneakers. I completely forgot the name of the sneakers, but I'll try to find a similar pair and link them in the description box, but they have this um, LV logo in this beautiful orange color. It's like such a juicy orange color. I love it with two stripes, gold and pink. I love the sneakers so much. I've been wearing them so much. I love white sneakers in general. I just think they're so fresh and easy to style in summer. I love the simple look of them, but they have this um, LV detail on the side. Also at the back, they are a little bit dirty because yes, I wore them a lot. And the next best purchase from Louis Vuitton was my Agenda GM. I love it so much. I just love having it on my desk and then I love writing notes inside and some video ideas if I have any because sometimes it's very difficult to come up with new video ideas. It's very pretty. I know it's a little bit of a silly purchase um, to buy such an expensive agenda but I know it's gonna last me for years and years and um, it's just like one of those beautiful decor items that you can display on your desk and look all fancy and cool, you know, sometimes. Yeah, that's how I want to feel. <laughs> so, um, definitely one of the best purchases and we have the very last best purchase of 2020 and I'm wearing it right now it's my Just Anclou ring from Cartier I wore it on a separate finger today so you can see it a little bit better but I bought it right before the price increase I think it was the end of August I returned back from my holidays and I immediately went to Cartier to purchase it and I was so dumb honestly the price increase was only by 40 Swiss francs but I'm still glad I bought it otherwise I would have waited a pretty long time to get this ring usually this is how I wear the two rings together I already had the um, love ring and so basically I've added the Justin Clou ring this one is in yellow gold same as my Justin Clou bracelet so it's like a matching set and now let's talk about my worst purchases luckily I don't have that many but I still have some that I sort of do regret buying yes it happens all the time because you know unfortunately you cannot just borrow something from the store <laughs> wear it for a little bit and then decide if you actually love the item so let's start with Chanel and this is gonna be a surprise for many of you well um, a lot of these items, yes, I did consider to be a regret, but not because I don't like them or anything, but simply because I don't use them as much as I thought I would. So the very first item is brooch. I think I wore it a couple of times, but 
every time I want to reach for a brooch instead I decide to go for a necklace you know and when I put like a chunky necklace like this one and then a brooch it just looks a little bit too much so let's move on to the next item it is also from Chanel it's another costume jewelry piece I've included a lot of Chanel costume jewelry pretty much everything that I bought this year and this one again I really like it but I'm not sure if it's my style and I haven't worn it much. I think I've only worn it once, which isn't a lot. And I also bought it in summer together with the necklace I just showed you. And it's... Ta -ta -ta -ta. It's this choker. Can you even see it? So here it is. It says Chanel. It's stunning. I mean, it's so beautiful. And I could actually wear it with this jumper because it has this blue leather and they would look so beautiful together i know that but at the same time chokers just aren't really my thing so i don't know i bought it because i really liked it and i've always liked their chokers but i'm not quite sure if it's really me the next one might surprise you because i really really liked it when i first purchased it and i do like it actually but i it's my Kirigami pochette. I really love it. I love this Kali collection. I think it's so beautiful. I mean, look at these colors. I'm not sure if my camera will show you the actual colors of this pouch, but then we've got another cute pouch in this beautiful blue color. And then we've got another little pouch over here, which is like pink and red. And it just makes me so happy because it's so tiny and the colors are beautiful. And I think with my Constance bag, this two together, so adorable. I just haven't used it that much. I don't really know when and how to use them. This I do understand. It's like for coins and cards. Then we've got this size and um, which is a weird size because it's similar to the mini pochette but it doesn't fit as much as mini pochette and then same thing goes for the large one i mean it looks big but it doesn't fit as much i don't want to sell it because i really like it i think it's a very special collection maybe sometime in the future i will find a purpose for this three mini pochettes for now, I just have them sitting in my closet. I think they're beautiful and it's such a shame that they are in my worst purchases list. The next two items I have on my list, I don't have with me anymore because I've sold them. The first one was the Louis Vuitton sack Pla in size Nano. I really like that bag. I thought it was super cute and adorable and it was just cute and adorable. It was so useless. I didn't know how to use it. I used it once, so I have decided to let it go. And I sold it to a very nice girl. She's from Geneva. She's not a subscriber of mine or anything. I was very happy that I found someone who actually likes the bag and who will actually use the bag. So no regrets there. And the next one that I sold as well, you probably know it was my Louis Vuitton multi pochette with the pink strap so let me go back to the beginning when it was just released i was obsessed with this bag i really wanted it but it was impossible to find it it was just completely sold out then i put myself on a list and my mom really loved the bag as well and once it arrived i back in march yeah it was in march i have decided to gift it to my mom as a birthday gift and she was super excited she was so happy i managed to get the second one half a year later i think it was back in was it july i can't remember but yeah it was like a few months later i got the bag and since i already had it in my hand since i already tried it on there wasn't a spark anymore i was over it <laughs> i was so over it even though i know that bag isn't technically mine it's my mom's I was still over it because I felt like, oh, I already had the bag and I let it go. Just, I know it doesn't make sense. The most important thing is that I wasn't in love with the handbag anymore. And last but not least, a worst, uh, it is probably the worst purchase of this year. I saved it to last because it's like a cherry on top of this damaged cake. It's in a box. 
in a Bottega box. It's my Bottega lug boots. I really love them. I thought they were so cool and so trendy and so beautiful and I was so excited to have them. But then um, the very first time I wore them in the evening I saw this stain right in the middle of the shoe and I didn't know what that was because I've only worn them for two hours. It was the first day, so I brought them back to Bottega, expecting them to exchange them or refund me or send them to repair. They did send them to repair. It took two freaking months to get them back. Two months. And guess what? They haven't done anything to them. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The stain is still here. It's so freaking ugly, you can clearly see it. And they haven't done anything to the boot. They said they tried, but they tried really. The shoe was untouched, I swear. It is in the same condition as I sent it to them. And I don't understand if they couldn't fix my boots. Why take two months? Two months. It was the perfect time for me to use them, to damage them even more during fall time, but no, they had to take them for two months. And since they are so trendy, I just think it was such a waste of money. I could have just enjoyed them this season and then figure out what to do with them the next one. I could sell them probably next season, but now, it's like what December and I just got them back and I bought them in September and that's so annoying that's really so annoying that I spent so much money on these shitty boots I'm just very upset with the customer service I would never ever purchase anything from Bottega anymore um, this is not you know I've had more headache with these boots than I actually enjoyed using them so if you are considering this boot, don't, don't uh, move on to something else. Um, get yourself a pair of nice Dior boots. You know, the price point is pretty much the same, but you're gonna get a very high quality boots instead of this crap. I am gonna keep them because I have no other choice and I will wear them because I have no other choice. I spent so much money on them. At the same time, I don't have to worry about them at all. I can just damage the hell out of them right now and since there is nothing that can be done to them whatever who cares um then i think next year i could probably paint them black <laughs> i don't know i'll see but i could for sure do that i could paint them black and wear again but for now i won't even care if they're damaged dirty or whatever i'll just keep wearing them until they fall apart because i want to get some use out of the money that I spent on them. Again, if you're considering Bottega boots, don't. They're so crappy and super heavy. So that's it for my today's video. What's your favorite item? What do you think about my worst purchases this year? Do you also think that they were the worst purchases or do you think I did all right this year? Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.